to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining in. Uh, my name is Marisa, and this is Hendrix down here. Um, and I'm the internship coordinator at RGB Music Therapy and Wellness Center. One of the questions that we get a lot from our students or our applicants is, how do I prepare for this internship? So um, today I'd like to talk a little bit about preparing for music therapy internship and specifically preparing for an internship here with us. So there's a lot of different ways um, that you can prepare for internship, kind of generally. But there's a couple of things that are really specific to the work that we do here and the population that we work with. So here are a couple of things to consider. One of the biggest challenges that I see in new interns is rep, rep, rep. Um, this is especially important here at our internship setting because we work with such a diverse range of clients um, from kids as young as four um, to end of life hospice care and so much in between. So our rep here that we tend to use and that we require throughout the internship program is very diverse and it's very broad for that reason. For example, hospice rep is basically going to cover every genre and decade. So if we're thinking about the potential hospice client and using preferred music or music from their young adult years, this really opens up um, possibilities for music within the sessions. Uh, for this reason, I typically recommend learning songs from each decade or genre. That way, if you do have a client who comes in and requests maybe a certain era of music or a certain style of music, you already have um, a couple songs um, ready to go and, and ready to pull out at any moment. I've noticed that this really makes a difference um, in the first sessions that you have with clients when you're trying to just develop rapport um, in as many ways as possible. On the other hand, um, we work with youth as young as four years old in local behavioral programs. Their music is a lot more modern and I've noticed that it's constantly changing. So keeping in touch with the latest songs that come out um, it can be very, very helpful for new interns coming in. And also just for us, it, it's good practice. I know that, at least for me and my experience, um, the kids that I work with are usually really eager to talk about the music that they like and they're really excited to show me new songs and at least for me that kind of tends to to keep me in the loop of things if you are planning on starting an internship in just one setting a good thing to do is to check with your supervisor or with interns that are there right now and, and just kind of ask them like what songs are used commonly the next thing that i really recommend for interns um, is to create a binder and it can be especially helpful in hospice settings. I always try to keep a running list of songs that I can do at any moment. So when you're making that binder, try to only include songs that you are ready to play on the spot. That way, if you are in a session and somebody makes a request, you don't have to remember, did I learn the whole song? Did I not learn the whole song? Can I get through this? They're all songs that are ready to go. And you can take that binder with you to sessions and use it as a reference um, when trying to pick appropriate songs or giving clients choices too. I organize my binder by decade and by genre. For example, I have an oldie section from the 20s to 40s, and then I have a 50 section, 70s, 80s, 90s, um, contemporary. I have a children's section, a Spanish section, a spiritual section. When I receive a new referral, I can take that client's age um, and go to a specific decade of their young adult years and kind of start there with them and see if there's any way that I can connect with them through some of those songs. We also have a Google Drive for our team filled with um, lead sheets and it's kind of organized in a similar format. If you have an iPad, I recommend also maybe using OnSong. So the last thing I want to mention about rep is having go-to hello and goodbye songs. So if you're working with groups or individual clients, it's helpful to have this part of the session already planned and ready to go in your back pocket. For new interns uh, with so many things going on, it can be really overwhelming at first and having a hello and goodbye song ready by the time you come in, I've found just kind of makes everything a little bit easier um, and gives you one less thing to worry about when you start session planning. If you can memorize it, that would be even better. The next tip that I have is reading the literature. So if you're enrolled as a student, um, look for peer-reviewed journals um, or articles on the school library website that are relevant to the setting that you want to study. Um, before I started my internship in hospice, I tried to read as many articles as I could just so that I had some basic knowledge of interventions, symptoms, goals, different approaches. I felt that 
that really helped me um, to develop a good foundation in the setting and not to feel so overwhelmed when I started my internship. If you're looking for specific recommendations on articles, um, you can always email us, email your supervisor and see if they have any suggestions or maybe a recommended reading list for interns coming in. So the Rio Grande Valley is rich in Hispanic culture. A lot of our interns find it helpful to study medical phrases in Spanish and, and phrases that are not so commonly used in everyday conversations. If you don't speak Spanish at all, I recommend starting with phrases that can be used when communicating with clients or communicating with parents, um, like maybe how to schedule an appointment or how to address a particular goal or diagnosis or even some friendly greetings. Any functional phrases that you have I think would be really, really helpful. I hope you found these tips helpful, um, especially if you're going to be starting your internship here with us at RUV Music Therapy. We're so excited to have you. Um, if you have any other questions or you're looking for some other future recommendations, uh, please let us know and we'd be happy to help in any way that we can. If you've already done your internship and you'd like to share a couple of additional tips, um, feel free to leave a comment below so that we can see it um, and hopefully add that to the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe our video for more info. Thank you. Have a great day.